What's up guys, Supercar Blondie here. I've got something super, super cool to show you. Come with me. All right, check this out. MC20, the newest release from Maserati. All right, let's look at this in more detail together, guys. This was just launched last night, but for the first time right now, you're gonna hear how the MC20 sounds. We're getting an up close look with Klaus. He's the one filming. He is the head designer of Maserati, so thank you, Klaus. Right, coming into that famous Trident there, that has been redesigned. Uh, many small changes made to that for this car and for the cars coming. I love how they've got that Maserati there on the side of the headlights. Love that detail. They're going for this very sleek, minimalist approach. What's cool about this car is it's all Maserati built. This is the first time in 22 years that Maserati has built their own engine. MC20 there written on the side, that actually stands for Maserati Corsa 2020, released in the year 2020. Those doors, we're gonna get a good look at them in just a second, can't wait to see them. This car is going to be released in three versions. This petrol version, an all electric version, and a convertible. All right, let's see the back. Now I'm loving the rear diffuser. I like that, it gives it a lot of presence. But if you just take a look at the rear as a whole, it does give you kind of Gran Turismo vibes in that the exhaust pipes are in the same position, right? And also it kind of just looks a little bit squeezed. So instead of the headlights of the Gran Turismo being quite thick, they've just kind of been squeezed and pushed out a little bit. I actually quite like the back, um, but I think I prefer the front. When I first saw this, I have to say I was a little bit disappointed that they had focused on a very minimalist classic look. I like a little bit more drama in my designs, but I think the reason why they've gone for this classic approach is because this is not a limited edition car. So they need to really make something that's going to appeal to a wider audience. They have actually sold 19,000 of these cars already. But what I might do if I got this and I'm considering getting it, is whack on a body kit and make it look super extreme because this car lends itself well to a body kit because it's so classic in shape and form. All right, now this is what I love. Look at these vents here in the back coming from the engine. They are shaped like the Maserati Trident. I really appreciate that little detail. I think that is beautiful. Now let's just pause here. We're looking at the engine. This is a three liter twin turbo V6. Okay, they've gone with the V6. But guys, it pumps out a lot of horsepower. 630 horsepower. It's the first time in 22 years that they have not gotten their engines from Ferrari. So this is a fully built car by Maserati in Modena. All right. So that's a trunk there, you can see in the back. They've actually got two trunks, one in the back and then one in the front. Loving all that carbon fiber there on the rear diffuser. And I actually really like those thin tail lights. I think they look great. All right, now's where it gets exciting. We are gonna hear from the head designer himself, Klaus, who has been filming this. He's gonna show us his favorite feature. Hey guys, um, good to be Hi, here Klaus. on the Super Cup Mondi channel. I'm Klaus Busse, <laughs> the head of design for Maserati. Let's have a look at the interior of this MC20 and my favorite feature, the butterfly doors. All right, the out. doors are going up, yes! His favorite design feature as well as mine. So cool of him to actually do this for us. Thank you so much, especially for the Super Cup Blondie channel. This is the first time ever that a Maserati has doors going up. So I'm super excited about that and I think it's gonna be a really key selling feature on this car. I'll take you inside, come on. Maserati has like this real like very 
iconic growl. You can always hear if it's a Maserati passing. Press the pedal. You see that little blue dial there? That's actually to go through the different drive modes. Got the beautiful MC20 badge to stare at after you've thrown down the cash for this baby. I do love this detailed uh, stitching and design panel there on the side and all across the seat. I think that looks absolutely stunning. Somewhere nice to lay your feet when you're going the top speed. 323 kilometers an hour. It's got the start stop button there on the left and it's also got the launch button on the right. You can lift the whole car up from a button on the wheel as well. You've got this standalone little infotainment screen, which is nice. Everything's very sleek inside, it's very minimalist. Only the things that you need. You see that little uh, button there on the door? That's actually to open the door right near the handle. That's quite nice, I like that. I like door open buttons. The price of the MC20 has been confirmed at around $200,000. You've got the Porsche Turbo S, and now that one's a bit quicker and it's got more horsepower, but does it look as cool? Doesn't it have the butterfly doors, for example? I think. At around $200,000, this is actually a really, really good price. And having heard that now, I'm pretty convinced that I'm gonna get one of these MC20s. And I just wanna say a massive congratulations to Maserati. I think this is exactly what the brand needed. A little bit of injection of, of speed and power and beauty. And I think that they've really come through with a lot of that. Um, me, I would like a little bit more drama, but I'd add a body kit to it and boom, you've got yourself a very, very good looking car. A massive thank you to Klaus. Congratulations on your beautiful design. And uh, thank you for taking the time out of your day in Modena, Italy to actually tour us around the car just for the Supercar Blondie channel. That's it, I think we're out. Bye guys, love ya.